welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually requested by you guys. I've had a lot of requests on my comments and on my Instagram to do a hair tutorial. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. So yes, yeah, so these are my natural curls. I obviously did get a fringe cut in not too long ago as well. In the video, I have kept my hair curly, all of it, just to show you what my curly hair routine is. However, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I style my bangs straight, bangs fringe, same thing. How I style my fringe straight, um, then let me know and I can do a tutorial on that. But yes, if you wanna see how I achieve my natural curly hair, then just carry on watching. So the first step is to wash my hair. So after I get out the shower, I will comb through my hair using my fingers. I will only use my fingers to comb through my hair as I don't want um, the comb or a brush to pull on my hair. So I will just use my fingers. I also don't want to separate my curls too much and obviously that will cause more frizz and we've just used an anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner so we want to avoid that as much as possible. Next step is to go in with a leave-in conditioner. I use this on my hair because my hair is quite thick. It can take the conditioner. I did mention this product in my January favourites so if you guys want to know a little bit more about that I will leave that video here. But yes I will go in and spray this mainly focusing on the ends of my hair and again I will comb through with my fingers to make sure the product is distributed throughout my whole hair. Now the next thing I do looks a bit crazy, however it's called the hair plop. Now this is being the biggest difference for me in my curls and in my hair routine. If I want my hair to be curly and to keep the curls, to keep the bounce, I will do the hair plop. Now using a normal towel on your hair really isn't good for your hair, so you do want to invest in a microfiber one or a proper microfiber hair wrap. I personally just use a cotton t-shirt. I use this one that you will see in the video. It's just a long sleeve t-shirt. I will pop my head over after scrunching it a lot. Obviously the most important thing is to scrunch your hair. I will flip my head upside down and I will slowly like drop my curls into the t-shirt. I will then wrap it up around my head and tie the sleeves at the front and then at the back. This allows my curls to dry number one in a cotton t-shirt which isn't damaging my hair and number two it's allowing my curls to dry on top of my head which adds to the volume and also allows my curls to dry in the curls if that makes sense when you're putting your hair into the towel the curls are falling in a curl shape in a spiral shape so then when it is drying on top of your head they are in the curls if that makes sense so when i open it up the curls are going to be a lot more defined and it just helps define your curls a little bit more rather than it being too frizzy and you're not being able to really make out your shape. I will then leave my hair in that towel. I will go ahead and go about my day. As long as I can leave my hair in that, I will. I will go and do my makeup. I will go and have my breakfast, anything like that, just to leave my hair in that towel. Well, top. <laughs> If you haven't got the time to leave your hair in the towel, you can diffuse your hair. I try and use the hair dryer not that much on my hair. I don't like using heat as much as I can. Um, but you can use a hair dryer with the diffuser end and just making sure that you're scrunching your hair and making sure that you're always scrunching and you're always keeping your curls kind of making sure you're trying to define them as much as possible. So after I've waited as long as I can with the top on my head, I will take, that sounds so weird to say, I will take it off and my hair is probably about 80, 90% dry. Um, it doesn't bother me too much if my hair is still wet because the curls will still pu like pull up, it'll still dry normally. Um, so yeah, it doesn't bother me too much if it's not like 100% bone dry. Again, I will scrunch my hair and upside down, make sure I can get as much volume as I can. Flip my head over and this is where the heat comes in. So around my face here that frames, like the pieces of hair that frame my face are quite straight compared to my curls in the back. My curls in the back and the side are quite defined and quite like a lot healthier. This is because even if I have my hair up, when I have been straightening my hair, I will straighten the side pieces that like hang out. This over time obviously causes those pieces to stay really straight, which is why I will go in with a curling wand. The one I use is the Babyless one. Um, this one I'm showing you on screen. I love this curler. It's really good just to get those little few defined curls in on the pieces that aren't as curly as the rest. It, I do this because it tends to look a little bit frizzy around my face if I don't and obviously I want my curls to 
look all together and not look very weird so I will do the pieces around my face just to frame my face and obviously make my hair all curly obviously in the video I keep my fringe curly I have just straightened my fringe and like styled it the way I would if I was having my hair straight and um, if you guys as I said before if you guys want to see that then let me know in the comments below but other than that this is exactly how my hair is I've got no other product in except leave-in conditioner I haven't sprayed hairspray or anything like that I don't tend to spray hairspray only when I'm putting my hair slick back because it just helps keep the frizzy bits down um but yes other than that this is my hair as you guys have seen it no more products than what you guys have just seen except from the leave-in conditioner I've tended to not wear my hair as much like this lately and it is because I got a new pair of straighteners and I've just been loving my hair straight however I do want to get back into keeping my hair curly it's a lot more healthy for my hair help my curls a lot more which I do like from time to time so yes that is my natural curly hair routine it's not as in-depth and as complicated as some people's are that is because as I said I haven't been wearing my hair a lot like this however when I do it is really simple I like to keep it very simple so if you enjoyed this video me talking about my hair and if you guys want to see more videos to do with my hair anything you guys want to know then let me know in the comments below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below it's free and it really helps me out and I really appreciate all of you who do subscribe so yeah that is it for this video thank you very much for watching and I will see you on Sunday with another video bye guys